Hello. My name is Dr. Samson. I'm on a student on task. Can I proceed? Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> Ideally, I would greet my patient, introduce myself, check the identity of the patient, and explain to her that the purpose of my visit is to examine her front passage with the help of two gloved lubricated fingers. I would take the verbal consent of the patient before I proceed. I will prepare my patient by asking her to go and enter water bag. I will ask for adequate exposure for which she has to undress below the waist and for that I will provide adequate privacy and I will ask for a chaperone. I will ask her to lie comfortably on her back with thighs and knees bent, ankles together, knees apart. I warn my patient that I'm going to touch her. In inspection, there's no discharge, redness, swelling, scars, or any sinuses, or bleeding. I will look for labia major, the labia minor, the clitoris, and I'll check for hair distribution. I'll check for the bathroom cyst at 5 and 7 o'clock. I'll ask my patient to cough to check for urinary incontinence. I warn my patient that I'm going to introduce my fingers. I can appreciate normal vagina rigosities. I'll ask my patient to strain to check for products. I can feel the cervix. The os is closed. The cervix is round in shape. Feminine consistency and it's downwards and the backwards. The right lateral phonics is free. I cannot feel any abnormalities. I will check for any tenderness. The posterior phonics is free. I cannot feel any abnormalities. I continue monitoring for the comfort of the patient. The left lateral phonics is free. I cannot feel any abnormalities. Through the anterior phonics, I can palpate the uterus. about 14 weeks in size. It's round in shape, feminine consistency, and it's undulated. I'll perform the cervical excitation test. One, the patient, I'm going to remove my fingers. I'll look for any discharge or bleeding. I'll offer my patient a few wipes to wipe herself. I'll thank her for the operation and ask her to dress up. From my examination, my most probable diagnosis is a gravid uterus, but I'll consult my seniors to confirm my findings. So you need to give diagnosis.